afternoon. Welcome back to Northern Ontario and uh, McCarroll Siding. My name is Dave, and uh, it's raining outside today. It's uh, been raining off and on for the last couple of days here. Anyway, let's move on here. Today we're going to start construction of the Domtar office building, uh, the office building that uh, services the paper plant. Um, I've spent already a couple of hours uh, designing it, and then uh, a couple hours cutting it out on the laser cutter. And today we're just going to do a little bit of assembly here so you can see what I'm, I'm working at this. And, uh, and hopefully uh, everything turns out the way it should be. Now, I'm going to go and switch to... I'm going to switch to 6. Come on. Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. So this is the office office building. It uh, is, it's just your standard modern office building. Lots of windows and stuff. So here are all the windows for it. And this is the pieces you see here down on the. Uh, I'm going to zoom in and do the dent here. Yeah, that's better. And yeah, move this over. So, I don't know, hold on, sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to get, get, get a little pointer here. So, these are uh, architectural details that are on the front of the building. Uh, I try to make it reasonably prototypical, but of course with most of my stuff it's a, is more freelance than it is prototypical. So all we're going to do here is we're going to put on the, the is ar architectural detail on each. I'm using uh, Eileen's Tacky Glue. Um, and once the detail's on, uh, we'll uh, start with the windows but I want to paint the windows window frames first before I glue them on so I gotta make sure I line them up properly because the windows are gonna line up on these. These, and I'll show you that as soon as I get this first row done here. There we go. Oh, okay, line up, come on, straighten out. You've got to be straight. More of the glue. Okay. Now we take the windows. The windows go. here so take those out of the way I'm going to put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue at the top and then I'm going to take the window 
slided into position. Yeah. Glue along here. And glue there. Now the material the, uh, the that I used on the layer cu uh, laser cutter was uh, a very thick cardstock. And I bought it from uh, from Amazon. Uh, because of its size, it was it was uh, twelve inches by twelve inches, and uh, the only thing I can get locally is something like eight and a half by eleven uh, sheets on, uh, from the dollar store. So I wanted to be able to cut out as much as possible on on just one sheet, and to do that on 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 other buildings as well. Alright, keep going. Now I don't intend to uh, show you the complete building process here, process here because it is very much, oops, got to be careful here. It is very much rinse and repeat. So we'll get the front, front facade done here. And, um, okay, that's the bigger one. That's this one. Okay, we're going to put this back so it's in camera again. So the building process is, is, is for me, is one of uh, just figuring out what I want to to uh, to build first. In this case, it was fairly simple. I just went over to the Dontar plant, took some photographs of the building. Uh, and was able then, then to... Uh, Come back and model it on the uh, on the laptop with the with the software the software called Lightburn, which is the software that controls the uh, the laser cutter. So again. Just rinse and repeat, glue here, glue here. Line them up. Now the nice thing about Eileen's tacky glue is that it is tacky. So it, And it dries reasonably quick, and it does dry clear. Um, but I'll probably be going in and sanding some of this and uh, cleaning it up. Okay, last window on the tunnel. There we go. So we now have the top of the, uh, let's see if I focus that, top part of the building built. And I'm just going to do the bottom row and uh, we'll call it quits for the video because, like I say, it's almost all rinse and repeat. The, uh, okay, so now we start doing it this way. So once again, I'm going to dip it in the uh, Eileen Stacky glue, which is a glue I typically use all the time. 
I must have three or four bottles of the stuff. Uh, for doing these these small buildings and uh, with small detail, the glue is, as you can see, sticks fairly quickly. Um, and uh, that's a real plus. And I want to, uh, just give me a second here, I'm just get this back in frame for you. And if you remember last week I talked about the turning circle, or if anybody could give me advice on the turning circles of uh, semi-trucks. Well, uh, nobody volunteered any information, which was fine. I, wasn't, I really wasn't expecting any. Uh, but... If you do a Google search uh, for turning radius semi truck, uh, there are lots and lots of diagrams I found out uh, that explain that to you. Okay, so now this one here is the front door to the uh, office building. Glue and glue. Oops, let's give it in. And front door. Okay. Now I'm going to have to uh, put some glazing on, on this, obviously, and make it. And I am probably not going to light it uh, because the way it sits on the uh, on the layout, the, almost all the windows are facing away from the viewer. So we'll just. Uh, So here we go again, another window. Glue on the inside, glue on the outside here. Windows here were uh, when I designed it. I designed them so they were a little, little oversized, and that makes it much easier to uh, line them up and uh, get them glued down. Uh, in the past, what I've done is I've uh, I've made the windows exactly the same size as the opening, and although that has some benefits aesthetically. It just leaves you with a flat building with no uh, architectural details at all. And most office buildings, when an architect designs them, he, he's designing them with at least some uh, details on the surface to, uh, to break up that surface. So now we're just going to go here and here. And here, and I'm going to take these and put them underneath. Now there won't be one here because I've got to build a set of stairs, and I'm debating whether I'm going to 3D print them 
or I'm just going to build them out of cardstock uh, and laser cut the things. Uh, I might just laser cut them. Okay. So there we go. There's the front of the building. See, the, it sticks up. What's going to happen is, where are those pieces? Up top here is going to be a strip that goes across the top of the windows like this. And that, that'll complete the uh, complete the building. So I'm going to take some glue and I'm going to put that strip on now too. And then that's we'll call it call it quits there. I'm trying to keep these short. I mean, I know there's lots of guys on on YouTube who uh, who do this kind of demonstration instruction video uh, and, and and do the whole we'll do the whole build on 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 air so to speak but I, I, I I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter than they were in the first first couple of years first year for sure Okay, so we have the building now. Sorry, I'm jiggling the camera because I'm trying to I'm trying to zoom in, and that's as far as it zooms in. So, so that's the front of the building. We've got uh, two sides here that are uh, complete replicas of, of of this, and then we have the back of the building which just is a flat surface with a loading dock and a door in it uh, again that's because the building really faces away f way, away from uh, the viewer on the on the layout so spending a lot of time building the detail in the back although not prototypical probably would be uh, wouldn't serve any purpose at all so we will go back to Well, you're trying to go back to camera. Well, let's just... There we are. Okay. So we're back. And we have... the front portion of the building built. And... Uh, I'm looking at it now, and I'm saying to myself, do I or don't I? Oh, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it this way. I was just wondering whether I was going to use which side I was going to have facing out, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Now the other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take some I've got bamboo uh, scrap here, or bamboo skewers here and I, I can also already see that the uh, the building is warping So I want to do that. All right, so we're going to put some glue on that, and then we're going to put some clamps on it, and, then that, and that's it for the day.
and bridge over here. Clamp that down. I'm going to grab another skewer and put one across the top. around now the applicator little applicator I'm holding and uh, using to uh, put the glue on is actually a tiny tiny q-tip And the clamps are uh, closed pegs from, uh, again, my favorite store for modeling, the dollar store, where it keeps prices down when you're building. So, we have, the, we have it all built, and we're going to let this dry, and I will do the, the side, side walls uh, off of camera. So I want to thank you for watching again today. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Uh, subscribing costs you nothing, and if you ring that bell, you'll get a notification when I put the uh, the next video up. Um, usually, it is Thursday night, uh, unless something goes horribly wrong in the editing or recording of something. So, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and uh, remember, it's your railroad, and you can build it any way you want.